It is simply the dive from the fireboat. That's correct, and it all lies right in the rollers, just perfectly, yeah. and, and identifies them for us beautifully, as a matter of fact. Yeah, you see the white caps. You're right. You see the white caps coming up in that red dye, and you can see where the rollers are there. Right. You, you definitely can see them. All right, well, Jerry Hoff has decided to lead them all up into the field, and again, we get the same punching we got at the re original run of Heat 1A. All the turbines are side by side. It looks as though Tom Deeth is going to want the inside. Everybody's down on power. Look at the circus splashing water over the nose there as she stays right in the trail of the Mr. Pringles. That's Steve David up there on the left-hand side of your screen moving into the corner, and they're all trailing behind the, the jackpot food mart, which will go very wide. There's Tom Deeth now in the center of your screen he's looking for an inside row to start on and he's uh, down kind of low on power but as the time ticks away here very few seconds left and this is going to be a pretty decent start everybody's going to come at throttle it appears but we'll have the inside uh, at about two lane and about the five lane and wide is going to be the circus six lane is going to be the mr pringles seven will be steve david and the pietros and on the outside it's going to be the uh, jackpot food mart and they're all to the line right on time it's going to be another good start into the first corner now. You see the Miss Budweiser, the Circus, and the Pringles in that order from top to bottom as they roll into that corner. There they all are. Bunch together. Bud gets a little loose as she goes into the corner and it looks again like the Circus Circus is going to challenge on the outside and overtake the Budweiser in the turn. A very strong corner for Chip Hanauer and the Miss Circus Circus. And Tom Deeth has decided to square off with him, Steve Reynolds. We'll do it right now, he says. Right now, it's good as any time. This is less than time. Good Chip wants to show sir. exactly what he's got. And as they come down the straightaway, the crowd likes this. Circus Circus in the middle lane, actually, about the four or five lane off the buoy. And Chip hangs it into the corner and hits those rollers, just as we said they'd be there. And they are. It's rough up there. Boy, he pounds around him indeed, but he comes down nice and flat. And Tommy now st starts off the corner and gets a little more acceleration. At the end of lap number one, they're going to be side by side. And they come down to the line. Speeds are going to be pretty good. They're just virtually dead even at 128.9 miles an hour for the Budweiser, which is actually a little bit ahead at the finish line. Just a nose. Here they are now going back into the lower corner. That's the Bud on the inside against the buoys. Japan Hour has a slight lead on the outside with the Miss Circus Circus. And you see the rollers from the air there. They're definitely there. All right, Budweiser pounding a bit on the roller traffic from the inside. That north wind pushes the water right back in front of the Budweiser. The track is bumpy. And down the back shooting this Circus Circus is riding wide and maintaining a pretty reasonably smooth ride down the chute. But the Budweiser see your pound with the sponsor is taking water clear up to the nose. Not so the Circus, as you see. Wide and high RPM through the corner. And now Tommy will keep his foot on it as much as he can through the corner, but he's having a rough ride through the turn, and Chip will close the door on him. There he comes down in lap number two. Chip Hanauer and the Miss Circus Circus has things under control, and it looks like Tom Deeth may be satisfied to just sit back now, Steve. So, but you know, you look at the way that the Circus and the Budweiser hit in the first turn, looks like the water's somewhat better down there. It appears to be better down there, but it also appears to be rough enough that Tom Deeth is not going to chance oh, ruining the equipment. Painted the buoy going to the church. Yes, he Just did. Painted it. Now he has given a definite message to Tom Deeth. Now that's no. a very sound one. That one came here, Mail Express, very return direct. receipt. The boat airing out in that north wind. That's the Circus Circus. There you see the Miss Budweiser. Look at the trough she's riding in. Lots of bumpy water. The Circus Circus is aired out nicely and is riding above that rough, rough water. Seems to handle the water a lot better than the Budweiser. Everyone said the Budweiser doesn't like this rough stuff. Circus Circus through the upper corner. We're on lap number three. Heat 1A, the restart of the Seafair Rainier Cup for 89. Chip Hanauer in the Circus Circus is coming down to end lap number three. Just about to lap Jackpot Food March with Jerry Hopp running fifth ahead of M. Pietro's Pizza running fourth. If they all keep going, they'll all pick up some points. 133 miles an hour, about five below the two-mile record on this race course for Chip Hanauer. So they're not running record speeds, but they're running plenty of respectable Steve Reynolds. Well, Chip is giving a message to Tom Deeds, and Tom and Turner is giving a message to Chip. He's saying, okay, you want to run over it? Go ahead, but I'm right here. It's a long day. I'll be here when next team. Now there's the jackpot Ooh. food mart going dead in the water, and you can see the mountains of water all around them. Lots of rough water in that lower corner there on the inside of the course. Meanwhile, this boat, Chip Hanauer's Miss Circus Circus, has got things under control nicely up the straightaway now, about 1,000 feet ahead of the Miss Budweiser as he enters the north turn. The Budweiser now is about halfway up the chute. And the Miss Circus Circus is having a nice ride out there. Despite the rough water, Chip has to be happy with the handling characteristics of his pink lady. Mike, tell me about Scotty Pierce and the Pringles. Just laying back simply. He's laying back. Ahead. Yes, he All let right. these two guys go. He has no problems out there. He's doing just what he said he'd do. He's being conservative. He, he pulled him into the corner. The water was too rough. He figured, not me. Not this time. Not this time. Chip Hanauer is coming out on the field. But also on the uh, fourth.
short lap. He was at 122, so he dropped about 11 miles an hour this last time around. But nobody's pushing him. The Budweiser is holding back still. Chip actually will a lap now. There's Mr. Pringles across the line. And she's running laps at 101 deliberately. There's no question about it. Pardon me, she's running laps at 117. It's right in there, but not, not running hard. Scott's trying to stay out of trouble here. Yep. The trouble he's had this year, he wants to stay out of three blows. Bet he is. He's very interested in getting all through the entire day, and he'll see what, what he can do in the final heat, Wayne. You'll, you'll see more from him, certainly. Yep. Through the corner now. Here he comes. Here's your winner. Pete 1A, the restart of the 1989 Seafair Rainier Cup, Miss Circus Circus. And she's your winner, Chip Hanauer. Second place, Miss Budweiser, wisely holding back in the rough water against the North Wind. 118 for Chip as he comes across the line. They got to be happy. That's a confidence builder for the Circus Circus team, no doubt about it. Budweiser came across the line also at the end of lap number five with a 119 mile an hour run. And of course, Tom Deeds pretty clearly had figured, okay, one, one strong one in this slop is enough. Lap, that's enough. And it's got to take a chip, it's yours. That's got to make that crew happy. Clay Johnson and the guys at Pietro's Pizza, they put Band-Aids and chewing gum on that Sponson, and Steve stakes it out there, and if he can get another three-quarters of a lap in, he'll finish fourth for 169 points, and who knows, maybe that'll get him to the show with more in the second. Yep, and I think that he definitely can as the Budweiser cools off and Steve rolls by. There's Chip Hanauer. He delivered a real, real important message expressed to uh, Tom Deeth, and that is the boat has it today. Mike, right there, the Pietro's crew wants to get a videotape as the Pietro's boat goes buzzing by the Budweiser but we know why. The bud is already completed. Pietros is coming around for this final Yeah, lap. but that still ought to be worth a couple of the grand, though, in the, <laughs> see? in the new package. That's it, see? The PR people will have that on videotape. They'll say, look, the day we pass the bud. Now, there's nothing to make that final heat. Let's go to Chip with that Circus Circus hat on. And, Chip, congratulations. 400 points in the Circus Circus camp. Uh, probably not a ride in the park, but certainly either something was wrong with the Bud or Circus Circus was running very well or both because you walked away with it. I think what it was is Budweiser knows that they don't have to win elimination heat. Their Tommy's really not in the national championship race, and the boat's kind of got that cinched up, so I think it was kind of a gift, to be honest with you. Well, let's talk about your boat then. How did you run? How was the handling, and how was it out there on the backstretch looking like a few rollers out there? Yeah, you know, it's Seattle, and we've got, uh, what, 5,000 boats out there, and they're all moving around, and it, it makes it rough. But you come here knowing it's going to be rough, and this is an old boat, and it doesn't handle real good. It's a little bit like driving a school bus, but uh, we'll just see what happens. Wish I'd have been in a school bus like that when I was a kid. Confidence builder, though, for this team, certainly, to get out front and stay out there. Well, what it does is 400 points makes it uh, look really good about getting into the final. And we've had two really bad weeks. I crashed and destroyed one boat uh, in Syracuse, and we went to tri cities We lost two rudders, scared the hell out of myself. So our big goal is to be able to back the boat into the shop at the end of the day in one piece. So we're just going to go one heat at a time and not really try and tempt fate too bad. Chip, congratulations. First heat out of the way. We'll see what happens second time around. I have to say hello to my grandmother and that I love her. i got to get that. You got it in, and we all say that. Okay. Chip, thank you. Thank you, Steve. Wayne? Thank you, Steve. All right, you come on a pit tour on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Ron Callen reports in. Ron? All right, Tom Deeth driving this, but second place, 300 points. Uh, how rough was it out there? It was pretty rough. Chip drove a great race. I mean, he just flat beat me. There's nothing I could do. I, I gave him my best shot. So we're going to make some changes on the boat and see if we can't get the bus Budweiser a little bit faster for the next seat. All right. Uh, it seemed like you were going neck and neck, and then did you just pull back and decide to let him have it? Or what no, was no. I was try I tried the whole heat, uh, but I just I couldn't run with him. He was fast. He's got a good setup for that water, and uh, he's got the experience, you know. So it's tough to uh, tough to compete. He's a great driver. Yeah. What kind of changes do you anticipate to make? Uh, well, we're going to try a different motor and a different propeller combination, uh, something that maybe will work a little bit better for me. All right, Tom D. driving the Miss Bed, second place, 300 points, and Heat 1A. Let's go to Wayne Cody. <laughs> 